Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Great news came out today. The White House removed the name of David Chipman to head the ATF. An anti-gun, a, a guy that demonized Americans with guns, demonized firearms themselves, demonized everybody who had anything to do with the gun lobby. This guy made his points known. He sat on the board of every town for gun safety. He has said controversial things like Americans should just lock up their guns and throw them in a cabinet and wait for the zombie apocalypse to appear. Very disrespectful to law-abiding American gun owners. He said that his view is different than many other ATF agents in law enforcement because they fall on the conservative side and they're a bunch of white men. Why bring race into it? It was even revealed that David Chipman made racist statements when he was a member of the ATF. He was an agent there. And when many of the black people who passed their test to become agents, he said they must have cheated. This guy had no business heading the ATF. He would have been a disaster for gun owners. And every town for gun safety were politicking so hard to get him in there. They knew that this was his man. Finally, somebody at a high level who shared their views to disarm Americans, and David Chipman was that guy. He had said no American should have a weapon of war. As the Biden administration, armed with a half million American rifles and high-end optics and everything else, a terrorist group like the Taliban, they want to disarm law-abiding Americans. Our Second Amendment right that we hold so precious, he wanted to destroy it. Now, he could not create laws, but he has a lot of leeway, or he would have had a lot of leeway as to what, what direction he would take on this. As we know, once we submitted our letters on pistol braces, the ATF can interpret the law how they want, and you know as well as I do, this guy would be more than happy to make his voice known as head of the ATF. He's gone. He's gone, and thank goodness. This guy even appeared on a Chinese talk show demonizing American gun owners, demonizing weapons, stating that, you know, the Americans are being killed every day. Well, let me tell you something. Americans are saving other people, law-abiding people, every day with firearms. But all that goes un unsaid, unnoticed, and uncared about. Actually, there were a couple senators on the left who said, this guy's too extreme. So it wasn't that Biden didn't want him. Biden wanted him. But they didn't have the votes. Every single Republican voted against this guy. And a couple Democrats and many others didn't make their points known. But, oh, let me tell you something. They were politicking hard for David Chipman, their anti-gun guy. They finally got the guy that they wanted. And yet, we had Gun Owners of America and so many other pro-Second Amendment groups that went out there and made their voices heard as well. I sent a letter to my senators, and I got some form-fit email back saying, we'll take your views into consideration as I cast my vote. Yeah, right. It's already done, a done deal as far as what you're going to do. But this was the guy they wanted. So everybody that said, oh, you know, Biden, he's, he's really not anti-gun, then why would he nominate Chipman to begin with? So thankfully, that guy's gone. We don't have to hear about Chipman anymore. I'm sure he'll join back with every town for gun safety, and they'll make him a, a local hero, but he will not be interpreting gun laws as the head of the ATF. And that is why I said today, today's news is very good news, and today is a good day. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.